For this DIY you're going to need two baskets, any type of basket will do. Here I am using weaker baskets. I love these baskets because they're big and in the inside is tall, you could store large items inside and I'm going to put another basket on top of this one. I purchased this acrylic container and I will be using it to store my different kinds of teas and also the coffee filters. So there you go, that's a mini DIY coffee and tea station, as you saw it, this was super quick and super easy to make. All you need is just two baskets, if you have space you can stock them up and you can put three or four baskets, it's up to you really. Um, you can put anything you want in here, you could put cooking spices, you could put more mugs, you could display things to do like uh, ornaments and this is something that you could remove at any time because this is portable is not attached to the wall and it's not going to damage anything. This cute little owl here is sold as a lantern and I like that so much that I decided that I'm going to use it to put all the wooden spoons that I have right next to my stove. If your decoration is more on the traditional side then you can get a ceramic pitcher and use it to store all your wooden spoons. And for the million bottles we have laying all over the place, I will be using this wire hanging baskets and I am going to put them in a narrow cabinet that I have and I am going to store all of my bottles in here. This is the first wire basket holding all the glass bottles and this is the second wire basket holding all of the plastic bottles which are very light and that's why I'm putting them on this glass shelf. This here is the Barriera lid holder, they sell it in IKEA for 5 euros and 99 cents. I will be using this to put cookbooks and my trivets. There you have it, now I placed it on the top shelf of my kitchen and everything looks neatly organized and in place. I will be using two small little cute baskets that I had and I am going to be storing all of my kitchen towels in here. This little container I got from Ikea and I'll be using it to put all my dishwasher tablets. I am going to be using a drawer that is right next to my kitchen sink. I'll be storing all of my dishwashing essentials. In here I have sponges that I use to clean my kitchen counters. And also in that little container I have the tablets for my dishwasher. These are the soap tablets. And I also will be uh, storing the sponges. And also I will be storing the two little baskets that hold the dish towels. Now I have all of my dishwashing supplies stored neatly into one place. What I have here is a shower caddy and it's great storage space for little things. I will be storing all of my baking spices and in here in the bottom it has little hooks and I will be hanging small little plastic things.
I bought these clips at my local 99 cent store and they come in very handy to hang little things. All you do is attach the clip at the end of the funnel and as you could see I can hang this anywhere I want. In here I have a plain rubber band. Since I want to hang my measuring cups I am going to thread the rubber band through the little hole that is at the bottom of the handle of each of the measuring cups and I'm going to use a clip, the little clip that I showed you guys earlier and now it's ready for me to hang. In here is the bottom of the shower caddy and I have funnels, measuring cups and measuring spoons. And moving up I have all of my baking spices neatly arranged into one place. In this tall cabinet I'm storing all of the bottles. I also have my soda making machine and I have my coffee maker. Next on this shelf here I am storing all of my plastic containers. In here I have more bottles, I have my hand mixer, I have a see-through squeezer, vegetable slicer, then moving down I have my rice maker, I have my mini food processor and all the way at the bottom I have my air fryer. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have please go ahead give it a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to this channel please go ahead and do it now and thanks for watching.